Praise Jesus Christ, so Lord and so uh, My name is Bishop Professor Victor Tadeus Chisanga, a co-worker in the ministry of the new wine in the new wine scheme. Uh, well, I happen to be the leader of this ministry and probably the main or major spokesperson. Uh, I want today to sort of uh, make some basic introduction of the ministry to the new, to those people who are new to this ministry. Uh, the vision of uh, this ministry, known as the new wine in the new wine scheme. First of all, let me uh, try and put clear here. Uh, it's called a new wine in the new wine scheme because uh, the messages uh, that uh, this ministry is teaching are basically messages based on revelations of Jesus Christ, or Allah on liberations of the Spirit of Jesus Christ that he has brought to the prophets in this ministry, that these messages may then be taken across the world in the body of Christ. And God has said that these messages are meant to contribute towards the awakening of uh, the church. Uh, so, before I go further, let me now start with the vision of the ministry. The vision of this ministry, the ministry of the new wine in the new wine scheme, is based on the five messages that God has brought through this ministry for the body of Christ. Now, what are these uh, five messages of God for the body of Christ? I'm going uh, to present these five messages in a very special chronological order. The first message, God says the church should be built on the pillars of uh, the Holy Trinity, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity. The message came as if it had an element of repetition and even uh, uh, the prophet asked Jesus, it seems there is a repetition, then Jesus responded saying no, there isn't a repetition. Later on we come to know that there is no repetition in that message, that the church should be built on the pillars of the Holy Trinity, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity. That's the first message. The second message that God brought be taken to the boy into the body of Christ across the world says the church should be built spiritually. Oh no, no. the church should grow, sorry. The church should grow spiritually through leadership of the Holy Spirit. The church should grow spiritually through leadership of the Holy Spirit. And that the church has to know that salvation is leadership of the Holy Spirit and that leadership of the Holy Spirit is the very uh, salvation, if I may repeat, that the church should grow spiritually through leadership of the Holy Spirit and that the church should know that leadership of the Holy Spirit is the very salvation. That is the second message. The third message uh, is that uh, service is sacrifice. To serve God requires sacrifice, and sacrifice means fasting. So the Spirit of the Lord kept me saved. Service is sacrifice. Service is fasting, therefore that without sacrifice there is no service, which means without fasting there is no service. It means that each and every servant of God, whenever he mounts on the pulpit, 
to preach, to take whatever message he has for the body of Christ, then he should do so through sacrifice, through fasting. It is clear in Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 6, the day of fasting, the day we should mount on the pulpit to preach. And in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 7, uh, the Bible says, we will have but to mount on the pulpit uh, by acceptance. We have to be accepted. And acceptance is sacrifice. Okay. That's uh, uh, the third message. The fourth message. The Spirit of Jesus came and said, What separates Christians in faith is the flesh. This, the flesh, is what separates Christians in faith. And what unites Christians is sacrifice. Sacrifice, fasting that eradicates or gets rid of, of, of the flesh. When you fast, you get rid of the flesh. You get out from carnal state of a Christian into a spiritual state of a Christian. Uh, that is the fourth message, that what separates Christians in faith is the flesh. Now, and what unites us, therefore, is sacrifice, that is fasting. That's the fourth message of God that has given to this ministry that we should take it across the world. The fifth and last message that God has given us to take it across the world says, Christians all over the world, in the whole body of Christ, should know that visions and dreams is uh, the voice of God. I repeat, that visions and dreams is the voice of God. And whoever stands against the truth and fact is literally against God. This is what God said. It should tell the church that way. We should take visions dreams very, very seriously as the way by which God communicates with his saints. Visions and dreams. Um, we can see this in Numbers chapter 12 verse 6 as well as Psalms chapter 8 and 9 verse 19. Also in Job chapter 33, verse 14 to 18. These are the basic scriptures that uh, puts it clear the purpose and the use of visions and dreams in as far as the vision of a, of a saint is concerned. That no saint can really be saved without leadership of the Holy Spirit, more so through visions and uh, dreams. Okay. Now, what is the mission of this ministry? The mission of this ministry is now to take these five messages into the body of Christ across the world for awakening the church, ready for the rapture. If I may repeat that the mission of this ministry is to take these five messages of God across uh, the world in the body of Christ but are meant to contribute towards awakening uh, the church for the subsequent rapture of the church soon to come. Yeah. Now, that being uh, the mission of uh, the ministry, what is the main task of the mission? The main task of this of this of, of this ministry, the main task of this uh, ministry, is to clarify biblically to clarify biblically uh, these five messages of God to clarify biblically because the way they stand and sound as at present are uh, just too much of a summary of the whole lot and probably difficult even to understand. They mean. But now God says the task is to clarify biblically these five messages. 
And God promised us that he was going to give us an understanding and knowledge to translate, if not to clarify, these five messages. Very, very clearly for the word of Christ. Now, uh, having known the task of this uh, ministry, then what is the purpose of these five messages of God? It is just to insist and to repeat that the purpose of these five messages of God is to contribute to the awakening of the church ready for the rapture. To contribute to the awakening of the church ready for the rapture. Um, it contributes because basically there are other uh, servants of God, other ministries, which most likely have been tasked by God to do the same as He has tasked us. For God never gives the whole lot of all the message to one personality or one group, but rather He gives several pieces by pieces that then Christians are supposed to join those pieces to make one thing, that's total salvation of a Christian. Uh, I want to sort of uh, stress uh, that these five messages form the new wine. The new wine that now is contained, or rather to be contained in the new wine skin. And the new wine skin is the ve this very ministry, which is titled the ministry of the new wine in the new wine skin in the ministry now this ministry what is the new wine in it this the, the new wine is actually the totality of these five messages of god now well clarified through extensive teachings that are to be that are take place across the world we are meant to reach places and the places in all corners of the world to clarify these five messages for the spiritual conception of the saints ready for the rapture. Um, it is well known biblically that the new wine cannot be kept in the old wineskin in that to be passed out and it be a wastage of the new wine as well as the old wine skin. So, to preserve uh, the new wine adequately, it has to be stuck into the new wine skin. So, message, sorry, this ministry is certainly the new wine that is meant to carry. So, the new wine skin is meant to carry the new wine that I have just stated. Basing on the five messages of God. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is uh, this is probably what I would like to say today to introduce this ministry that it is uh, known to whoever have interest to know more about what is meant to be and what is tasked to be. Um, for today, let me say this is enough. I love you so much. My name again, once again, is Professor Victor Del Sanga, the bishop. Um, and my phone number in Tanzania, that's plus 255. Then 754-3118-78. May God bless you. I also, yeah, of course, uh, I remember, remember something important. I got some booklets and books that I've been writing and I've written in the whole period of uh, saving God. And all the, these documents, uh, I will be ready to uh, send anybody through soft copies, even hard copies, whoever wants, whatever it is, across uh, the world. Thank you very much. Essas cinco, esses cinco tópicos que eu mencionei aqui está a dizer do novo nascer 
no novo corpo. And it should be uh, known that, or it should be reminded that, the new wine cannot be kept in the old wine skin. It can burst it. Therefore, this new wine, is, Jesus has decided to keep it in this ministry, which is called the new wine in the new wine skin. Yeah, now, because uh, um, um, the carrier of the vision of this ministry and that I'm um, the main speaker of this ministry, I want now to introduce or rather to let the listeners know a clue of my faith. What do I believe in? I want the listeners to know that. So, regarding faith, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Second, I believe that Jesus is not only the Son of God, but also that Jesus Christ Yeah, that Jesus is not only the Son of God, but also the only one true God. Third, I believe in the knowledge of the Word of God. In the I believe in the word in the word of God in the Bible as the only truth about human salvation. Fourth, I believe in the knowledge of fasting prayers. I believe in fasting prayers as the spiritual life of a Christian. Fifth, I believe in the knowledge of visions and dreams. That visions and dreams is the voice of God and that and that visions and dreams is by and large the way to heaven for a Christian. Six, six years. I believe not only in the Holy Trinity. I believe. I repeat. I believe not only in the Holy Trinity of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but. But I also believe in the seven spirits of God. These seven spirits of God, I want to state them very, very categorically. I believe in the spirit of the knowledge. Yeah, the spirit of knowledge first, second, the spirit of might. 
The third is the Spirit of the Lord. The, no, I'm still on the second. What is the second, please? The second one is the Spirit of Might, Power. The Spirit of Might. The third one is the Spirit of the Lord. The fourth one is the spirit of wisdom. The fifth one is the spirit of understanding. The sixth one is the spirit of counsel. And the last seventh spirit is the spirit of fear of the Lord. So I believe in the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and I believe also in these seven spirits of God. And I also believe in these seven spirits of God. Thank you very much. Now, I also want my listeners today to know my historical background a little bit. I was born I was born in Tanzania on 30th September 1950. Network barrier. I was born in Tanzania. On 30th September 1950, 1950. I was born again on 30, fe on 30 February 1992. I was born again in 19... By then, I was 42 years of age when I was born again. The third point for my, uh, for, for my introduction to my background is that professionally, I am an architect. I have PhD in architecture. Eu estudei arquitetura. And I have worked as an academician with several universities in Tanzania for over 35 years. Eu trabalhei numa academia, que é a sétima melhor academia daqui da Tanzânia, uh, mais de 35 anos. Yeah. In universities for 35 years, yeah. The, my main spiritual knowledge here, sorry, my main spiritual knowledge has been acquired. I repeat, my main spiritual knowledge has been acquired largely through revelations of Jesus Christ. This is as per Galatians chapter 1, verse 11 to 12. The third point, the fourth point, no, the fifth point, uh, as a servant of God, Jesus Christ has blessed me to be one of the archbishops. Graças a Deus, pela sabedoria de Deus, uh, Jesus deu-me a oportunidade de ser um dos maiores bispos. Uh, I'm the Archbishop of a newly formed church known as the World United Alliance Church. World United uh, Alliance Church. Uma igreja formada que diz que Jesus é o leão da tribo de Judá. But I'm serving through this ministry 
rather independently from the church. Mas eu estou a servir este ministério independentemente da igreja. This ministry of the new wine este... in the new wine skin. Novo, nascido de novo, em nova, em novo corpo. And indeed, I expect to be meeting you every week, same day and time. E eu gostaria de convidar você a participar sempre, eu estarei em linha, no mesmo dia e o mesmo horário. The pattern of teaching in the ministry is as follows. Um, sorry, come again, please. The pattern or the way of teaching in the ministry is as follows. Uh, a forma de, de a gente uh, de, uh, treinar nos, no, no ministério é um caminho. This ministry teaches in attempt to clarify the five messages that God has brought for the body of Christ. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, the pattern of teaching in this ministry, it teaches in response to some basic spiritual questions, but based in the Bible. This ministry also will help you Como se guiar a fazer as perguntas da Bíblia? For example, what is the difference? What is the difference between a carnal Christian and a spiritual Christian? Qual é a diferença de ter um cristão, um cristão uh, bem posicionado e um cristão espiritual? So, this ministry has interest to clarify such differences that exist uh, in the body of Christ. So, this is about the differences and the similarities of the basic aspects in the spirit. But within... But within Christian faith. Mas em gestos diferentes, em caminhos diferentes, em formas diferentes. It teaches predominantly how to go to heaven. Vamos ensinar especificamente, espaço a espaço, espaço a espaço, como ir aos céus. It doesn't teach at all about prosperities of this in this world oh no 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 we teach about prosperity to towards the heaven we teach so that god may use us that we go to heaven Nós ensinamos como Deus pode nos usar para nós herdarmos o reino dos céus. And as we teach, we don't teach people only, but as we teach, we also teach ourselves. Não só ensinamos as pessoas, porque quando nós ensinamos, também estamos a nos ensinar para nós mesmos. Because it is the Holy Spirit that teaches. Is not Victor Chisanga who teaches. No, it's the Holy Spirit. But how? Porque quando a gente vem para ensinar, para dar aulas, não somos nós. Estamos a falar de coisa muito forte. Então é o próprio Espírito Santo que vem nos ensinando. God told me that. God told me that I should. That I should teach. Only when it is a third day or more, I haven't eaten, I haven't drunk. That's why I'm fasting. The third day dry is when I should start teaching. Deus falou comigo que eu só deveria começar a ensinar quando eu a dar aulas, a passar ensinamento para vocês, quando eu jejuar 30 dias totalmente seco, sem comer, sem beber. Yeah. He said, it's only when you fast that much that pe 
people will understand what you teach. Otherwise, people cannot understand. Quando tiveres nesse nível de jejum, aí vais ter a capacidade de ensinar, porque estarás a compreender o que eu quero que tu faças. So when I fast for three days without eating, without drinking, that's when I start ministering or teaching in a seminar. And I will go teaching without eating or drinking until I finish the seminar. E aí eu comecei, primeiramente eu fiz três dias completos sem comer, sem beber. E eu comecei a, 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 a dar aulas nos, eh, nos seminários. Comecei a ensinar pessoas nos seminários. He said, God said, that is the only way that you can be allowing me to teach instead of you teaching people. He, told, he said, I will teach people through you. When you fast that much. The third day without eating or drinking is when you have to start teaching. And you don't have to eat or drink until you finish your seminar. If it's three days, four, four days, five days, six days, without eating, without drinking. That is how I save God. Uh, I want now my listeners to know my YouTube account number. My YouTube account name is Bishop Professor... Yeah, Bishop Professor Victor Chisanga, Prof in abbreviation P R O F, Bishop Prof Victor Chisanga. Bishop Prof Victor Chisanga, that's my YouTube account number. Name, okay. The ministry, I want just to repeat that the ministry is called the ministry uh, in, uh, in which I'm serving Jesus through is called the new wine in the new wine skin. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today has been a the purpose of today's uh, meeting is like to introduce myself and to introduce the ministry to you. Uh, regarding teaching proper, when we meet next, I shall come with very, very basic teaching subjects. And since God says these are new messages, my request is that we pray to God, when you listen to me, try to identify what are the new messages in my preaching. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense if we say these are new messages for the body of Christ and yet there is nothing new. There must be something new. So we have to try and identify. That is my request. Whenever you are listening to me, try to identify what are the real new messages in what I teach. If you don't see any, if you don't see any new message, you tell me exactly that there's nothing new there. I love you so much. Today, I think let's end up here.
muito obrigado, vos amo e Deus abençoa. I love you so much indeed. Uh -huh. Vos amo bastante. My, my, my phone number. My phone number is plus two five five dos cinco cinco seven five dois cinco cinco seven five four sete cinco quatro three one one eight três um um oito seventy eight excuse me the last one seven eight or seventy eight Seven, eight. Seven, yeah. Uh, I, I, I also do uh, write extensively. as some have some booklets, some books, some pamphlets that I think I'll be, I'll be circulating. I'll be circulating, and even I can be sending in in soft, uh, in soft copies to listeners who are interested. I want to take this opportunity. I want to take this opportunity to thank you, Madam, the translator, Teresa, and all. And also, I want to thank my grand coordinator, Dr. Leonard Chisber, in the United States of America. For, for, for this grand arrangement that I now pray to Jesus Christ that it gets consolidated and goes on to prosper. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Deus abençoa. Aleluia. Aleluia. Thank you, madam. <laughs>